The focus of this video is to show you one of the projects built by a community member in the data space in Nigeria, Bolaji by name. Dear data ninjas, data enthusiasts, and everyone interested in data analysis, you know, sometimes it can be really disturbing, you know, your learning journey. You'll be learning data analysis for three months, six months, one year, or two years, but you are not convinced if you are truly building incrementally on your skill or not. You're just wondering, oh, I've been learning this thing for one year, two years. Where am I exactly? How do I know I've gotten these things? How do I even... Am I confident that I know what I know and how do I show this to recruiters? And that is one of the disturbing topics as people continue to build on their knowledge. You just wonder at what point are you convinced that you have the skill? Alright, so the, my answer to this is simple. You show, you, you demonstrate your skill through projects. There is no best way to convince me or to convince recruiters that you are good and you know that thing if you don't even have a portfolio to show for it. No matter how simple, in fact, that is why it is advised. The day you started learning, that is where you started building small projects. If what you could do is analysis with, Chef, um, with Excel, do it and put it out there because that is what you, you know, you've learned how to do as at that point. As you continue to learn, you are adding more projects and I can even go through that. Recruiters can go through this and see exactly how you're able to build on your knowledge and skill incrementally. And that already convinced them that this is a lifelong learner is someone who is committed to learning and don't just appear one day as pro. Uh, well, if you have a profile to show you, your pro project is good. Uh, but it is advisable that you continue to learn, you are putting to use those things. As a matter of fact, sometimes you forget how to work on something. And you have to go back to already documented project by you to get those concepts again and reuse them. What if you didn't document them? And um, one of the advantages of really building projects while learning is that the day you will need that concept, you might not even remember exactly how to do it, but you will know that it is possible because you've done it before. Or they can fuse in into the idea that you need to solve a particular solution because you've done something close to that before, maybe not exactly that. So the key takeaway here is this, try to always work on projects and find a place that is really trusted to host it, not just a site that will be active one way or one week or two months or three months and later you won't find anything there because you can't keep it up. But GitHub is always where I recommend people to you know, put their projects. Now, the focus of this video is to show you one of the projects built by a community member in the data space in Nigeria, Bolaji by name. I, I'm, I was really, really, you know, surprised. I was excited when I saw that project and it really means a lot. Why? Simple, relatable, but to think about it that way, to to think about the project that will really means a lot because okay this thing we use every day is whatsapp yes conversation but for you to analyze that you need to learn how to use power query to even think of how can i work with text data tst data set convert to data frame and all those things means a lot it does that with power bi so let me walk you through the repository on github of course it's documented on github right now you can actually check it out with the link in the video and also do something similar to it in fact data is there so that i can practice and some of the tips the query you wrote to clean it the power query is also there but let's let's even check it out together okay so you can find the link to the github url in the video description but you can see this is bola gbi was a power bi report and let's go through these are just the resources in fact this is the power query code that you use for the cleaning so you can actually take it and run it on another one or even the same sample data this is the powerpoint presentation slide that they use to design the background and the layout you might be wondering wow how do you use powerpoint this is right here the slide to use and this is the readme file which is what we are reading right now and this is the timetable they also use in the modeling so that is the power query for that you see the WhatsApp group chat analysis, cleaning and analyzing the WhatsApp group chat data as well as report design in Pavia. That is just the basic goal, message to communicate there. And these are the things that this documentation includes. So if you want to run similar thing, when you see it now, you will see the project, that data clean the WhatsApp test file. So it is right here, 40,000 messages. Wow, without media, but this is great. You might be wondering how can you also do that if you are an admin of the WhatsApp group, 
make sure you seek the consent of the admin if you are not admin even if you are admin seek the consent of the people that oh this does not include their data you just want to run analysis on it and you share the results with them and you will make sure you anonymize it so their name is literally not there like the guy like Bolaji did here and so that you can then get it exported. To export is very easy. You just have to go to WhatsApp group. If you have the admin access, you go to the options. From there, you'll be able to see the export chart. So you can export all the chart as TST file and follow this guide to also get it done. So you can see the report requirement. These are the things you can take your time to read through it. But look at this table. These are the table model, data model that I use, the chart itself. There's the clean WhatsApp chart data. Wow. Bola, you did a great work here. Um, date, a standalone date table. You need that time. A timetable to facilitate analysis across time. You see, you have to create a table for that. This is experience really helping. I'm pressing a table containing a unique list of the group members. You can see that now. And right here, this is the modeling, how those tables were connected to one another. This is the report design. So when you download this PowerPoint slide, you, you see that it is already in this size. You can see he has to design and you will see how he was using the background color different rectangle everything see all these things <laughs> were designed in powerpoint interesting and now this is the final report in power bi so you can see because we have the layout already designed you can easily go over there and fix in the value the messages you put them in this box this will put them in this box the background that the image becomes but you have to fit in those um those chart here this is two tips as you're clicking on one bar you can see the breakdown wow this is amazing I, you agree with me so if this guy is looking for a job you wonder that oh what have you done before this is what i've done this is impressive then you know things you have demonstrated the minimum viable skill it is different from someone who is learning for over one year two years all you can show is certificates no even if this is the only thing you can do but it's it worth it so this is why it is always recommended that you should find a way to demonstrate your skill and follow this uh, github this thing download the data try it out first you know try it out you can replicate this and after that then you can now pick up one data from your group you know get the consent like i've said they try to analyze it as well so when you are writing your own documentation let it be known that you pick your inspiration from this work and um, put the link there and this is what you were able to now do with your own do you see that i mean you can be doing things like this and be confused if you've learned the skill or not you will definitely know if you are growing in your skill or not and you'll be confident with what you can do because right here he has done this and he goes or we i don't care even if he has a certificate or not the fact that you can do this that is what we need we need the skill all right so i want to encourage you to take your time and find ways to do small small project that will actually showcase your skill and whatsoever you are learning thank you and bye